everybody, welcome back to the channel into a brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another path to the glory player review and today it is the turn of the Dutch beast Matisse Delete or the light, whatever you want to call him guys. All I know is he's going to be a shut down defender and he is coming for Van Dyke's crown. What a fantastic card EA have dropped to in today's path to glory team he is 62 medium high right footed two star skill almost four star weak foot and he is so cheap guys he's only 296,000 coins and he has a high chance of being a 96 rated with those three wins he is currently in group c with austria north macedonia and ukraine austria being the toughest challenge for netherlands but individually wise netherlands should go undefeated if you go according to the script but you never know with netherlands man they can either be really good or really bad but here here is to hope that they are good so your delete can be a 96 rated card but today we're going to be ruining his 94 his base non-upgraded card and we're going to be seeing how good this card is and if you should replace that the bridge the skinny art romero another incredible center back from the city yeah and you should put him with this delete card i did buy him and he had an anchor chemistry style so i think i'm just gonna leave it like that but if he does feel slow probably in the second game i will apply a shadow chemistry style i just want to test out two different chemistry styles to let you know which one is the best and like I said, guys, he is a fantastic center back. And we're looking at the stats right now. The first, the 83 pace, 80 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. And now thinking about it, guys, I'm going to apply a shadow. I'm just going to do it real quick. Let me see and apply the shadow because that is what this card needs. And there we go. All right, good. We're good, guys. I know I said I was going to try him with an anchor. But nowadays, with all those 99 pace players, you need as much pace as possible in the defense. And that's why I applied a shadow chemistry style. I am going to get him on 10 chemistry. So he can have a 90 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. On to the passing of 80. 76 vision, 91 short passing, 90 long passing. Good stuff uh, there from the passing department. And especially because he has a 4 star weak foot. I should have no problem getting it out of trouble. And yeah guys, onto the dribbling of 82, 67 agility, 71 balance. That is a normal for a center back, but hopefully he does not feel super clunky. And my favorite two stats on the card, guys, aside from the defending, is the 99 reactions and 97 composure. Guys, this guy is clutch, clutch, clutch. And he should have an incredible AI blocking animation because he does have 99 reactions. He should react to those shots like Van Dyke does. And if he is better than that, then uh, Brian Dyke definitely will let you know. Onto the defending of 94, 92 interceptions, 95 defensive awareness, 94 standing tackle, and 91 sliding tackle. Basically, 99 defending with the shadow, and you love to see that. And lastly, the physicality of 91. He does have 91 jumping, 95 strength, and 90 aggression. 82 stamina is all right at best, but hopefully that does not affect them. And lastly, the player trait, solid player, and power header. Guys, I'm so excited to try out Matisse Delete. Is he worth it? Is he not? Is he a beast on the pitch? Is he the best Serie A defender? Too many questions to ask, so let's get on to the gameplay portion of the review and answer those questions. All right, come on. Look at that acceleration right there for the lead to get that interception. And now we're running. Vamos, somebody make the run. Let's see that through ball meta. Ah, yeah, yeah. Perfect sliding tackle right there. Great stuff, man, right there. That's the reactions. Good defensive awareness. And that's the third highlight of the ball game. Can lead to a goal, though. Can lead to... Ah, oh, he read me. He read it. Great stuff right there from the lead. I'm really liking the defensive awareness, man. Right place, right time. That's why I like high reaction center backs. Just for that main reason. Uh, let's see. Good coverage right there. Vamos. All A animation once again. You don't even need to press... Sir Guys, I did a ball roll right there. Ah, yeah, yeah, and obviously it's gonna lead to a goal. I did a ball roll right there in 45 minute cheese, and he's celebrating on me, guys. It's t it's time. I 
Let's go. Nice. Right there with the lead. I read that. Uh, I read that through ball up top. Thank you so much. So that concludes game number one for the lead. Yes, 7.60 rating for the Dutch Beast. He had a lot of highlights and we ended up winning the game 2-1. Don't, don't celebrate on me unless you want the guaranteed L. Zero goals, zero assist. But passes completed 6 out of 8. Dribbles completed 7 out of 9. And tackles won 3 out of 7. Yes, good stuff from the lead. Hopefully in the second game we can get more highlights and see if he can keep being the beast that he is. Vamos elite. There we go. Five minutes already. Getting the ball back from Hernandez. I don't even know what Hernandez that is. There we go. Look at that AI block. He's saving a goal. I did that on purpose. If I had switched to the other defender, I would have probably gotten that ball. But I need the highlights. And look at the elite throwing himself on the ground. Oh my goodness. What a defender EA have released. Go, lad. Vamos. Guys, oh my goodness. This car's definitely the underrated beast. And the lead making that incredible sliding tackle once again. Can it lead to a goal? Let's go. Zembele. Ah. Oh, I tore my new one. Ay, casi, casi, casi. Vamos. Can you catch up to Hernandez? One of the fastest players in the games. Look at that sliding tackle. Wow, wow, wow. He was able to keep up with Hernandez. And he scores the goal. Oh, my goodness. As I'm writing down the note. And it is 5-4, guys. It has gotten tight. We're blowing leads. Oh, my goodness, guys. I think I watched a little bit too much. Tottenham Hotspurs. Come on. I'm reading it all the way, buddy. I'm reading it all the way. The life putting his life so he don't score goals. And then you got Quadrado doing that. But there we go. The lead carrying the defense, guys. He's better than the bridge. I'm telling you right now. So I now pronounce Mati the lead, the best center back in the Serie A. Get rid of the bridge. Get rid of Romero and get rid of Skirnia if you are crazy enough to use them. And get this delete card. What a fantastic center back. He has everything you want. The pace. He has the reactions, the composure, the ball control, the weak for the defending, the physical. Too many pros to name on this card. The only con would probably be the agility. But it doesn't even, you can't even feel it guys to be honest. You saw him catch up to that Camilo Hernandez Colombian striker that has like 98 pace. So if you can do that, you are good to go and say hello to playing center backs at center back once again here at fifa ultimate team 21 let's go on to the meta rating meta rating on this card is going to be an 8.5 out of 10 final rating is going to be a 9.5 out of 10 that's how good this elite card is and i definitely do recommend them if you are running a city aside but aside from that guys i will conclude today's review hopefully help you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not and you enjoyed this review before i let you guys I want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately i have been killing it with the support and i love seeing that guys please take a second out of your day like this video subscribe to the channel and that'll be all for today this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night